the folks, it's Frost, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into to my returning thugs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support, being able to resonate with each other and knowing, you know, even though we're going through our own crazy situations, it's just a beautiful blessing for us to be able to relate towards the feelings that we're going through, you know, as we're trying to ascend towards bigger and better. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me so you know give me a couple of lines from you even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about the impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even fellow empaths that you know um are going through some situations right now and they're you know they have questions towards their um you know their life path or even life purpose you know go ahead and they, if they need validation or confirmation uh go ahead and share them while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support it is greatly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video this beautiful meditation that i'm listening to is called remove energy blockages let go of all the negative energy erase subconscious negative patterns you know, oh, lord <laughs> i needed that one today and it's like the lately the the meditations i've been using is really effective and it's just like my love bugs is it's like they have to these new options on uh, YouTube, especially for YouTubers, you know, we can share, you know, the share anything, any videos towards our subscribers. So, you know, even if I'm not connected with you on Facebook Messenger, I always, you know, especially ones I'm connected with on Facebook, Facebook Messenger, I always send them um, uh, links towards beautiful and most powerful, you know, uh, meditation, especially the ones that work for me as well. So I always try to send them some as well, you know. Um, but anyways, the video that I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Elka, is on the first test you will be tested. Uh, you will be doubted and tested. If that ain't the truth, I don't know what is. You know when you're heading towards things. You know if you're wanting better things in your life. You're, it will Ego will put doubt in your head, put doubt in your heart, you know, make you question yourself. You know, am I going down the right path? Am I doing the right thing? And, you know, am I aiming towards that? You know, is this what I truly want? It will have you doing that. You know, you should always listen to your gut feeling. Always go with your intuition, not your ego, because your ego will mess you up the long way. You don't want to do that. Or it will send negative people down your path. Um, people question you, you know, and make you, they'll doubt you and make you question yourself as well. You know, like I've said many times before, and I say, hear me and hear me well, you know, there will be people, if they cannot see their dreams for themselves or they feel like you're doing better than them, they, they will throw, they will throw, uh, negative vibes your way. And it's not good for people to do that because I'm that type of person. I feel like everybody has their own goals. Everybody has their own journey. I feel like we all can you know, finish down, come down the finish line all at the same time. I, you know, I said, just because God has something in store for me, don't mean he don't have nothing in store for you. It's just because you failed at that situation because some people didn't fail at the, the, the things that they're aiming towards. So they feel like, oh, you know, I did that and that didn't work. Just because it didn't work for them don't mean it won't work for you. So you keep pushing. You keep aiming towards the things that you're, you know, that you're going for, you know, no matter what people tell you, no matter what doubt that they got in their mind, what negative vibes they want to throw your way, block yourself. You know, I always have to block myself. You know, I, I feel people when they're trying to be nasty, nice to me. I know when, you know, you know, when you being a Hayoka, you will have people come out. They will show their insecurities towards you in a minute. I've seen it. I have felt it. You know, and it's like lately, like I told y'all before, spotlight shines on certain people that you you know you could have been friends with been messing with them for the long long way and then all of a sudden that spotlight will come up on them like it'll make you question should i keep these people in my corner or should i let them out? 
if universe is telling you need to cut that mess off cut the cords off with a quickness don't ask no questions there's a reason why there is a reason why and especially if you're going towards something that didn't go the way you seen universe and god will put that in you know they will cut you off before they see you mess yourself up so never doubt the situations that you're going towards if you feel like you know these are the questions i need to be asking myself am i going down the right path am i doing what i'm supposed to do meditate on it see what things come at you you know what you know what words are highlighted in your mind that you start seeing what are the words that you're starting to hear that you know that voice is telling you not your ego but you know your spirit guides you know listen to what they're telling you you listen to what your gut is trying to tell you if you know this is the things that you're going through towards you know sometimes you know universe and god will shake our lives up so we can be able to go down that path that we're truly supposed to go down you know if you've been at a job that you're not being appreciated you're not really feeling some kind of you know you don't feel like you're growing at that company or growing at that job you know god will get you up out of there in a minute you know I've, I've heard people like Roslyn you know especially when I'll be a one-on-one -on -one. and I always tell people you know if you're especially you're new to my my uh my channel you know I don't mind you know people contacting me on Facebook messenger because that's the only uh social media I have uh you know I don't mind talking to them if I know you're on the up and up because some people be trying to get me to do stuff so they can try to get past codes and all that mess like oh Rosa email me no if you want to email me you email me you know my stuff is all in that you know my bio you where you can get in touch with me at you know and if I feel some kind of way about you I'm not about to sit up here and accept you and I'm not gonna write back <laughs> it's just if I if I get them vibes about you and they get my spider tingling my spider sense is tingling I ain't about to do because you know like I said darkness will throw stuff in your way it'll throw a monkey wrench in your in your program when you're heading heading towards something very successful in your life you know I've had family members they were like Rosalind what you doing now I saw I'm a motivational speaker you know on YouTube and, and you know I've had some of them laugh at me I said all right that's fine you can laugh all you want to but it had the same energy when I'm getting my glow up okay so it's just like you know people will laugh at you they'll throw doubt on you some people don't believe some of the stuff I say that's fine too cuz I like I've told people you know they sent me links about people that have said stuff about me I don't care if this is how you want to make your funds make your funds but I'm a type of person if you a real empath as you say you are you a real psychic or whatever you claim yourself to be you'll know if I'm throwing BS at you you'll know and I don't have time like that I ain't got time to be making myself look crazy nor stupid you know, I'm not about to waste my time like that. I love what I do. I love for the fact is, I, like I told y'all before, when I first started this, doing these video vlogs or whatever you want to call them, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I didn't know where universe and God was heading me towards. I just did what they told me to do. I got it myself step by step. When they told me to make a video, I made a video. When they sent me towards certain things and, you know, brought visions towards me or even telling me in my dreams, you know, things that were going on in my life that, you know, I questioned, like, what is this? You know, before I even found out I was a Hayoka, I used to always have conversations with this beautiful Indian chief as well as his wife. You know, and they were just calling me Hayoka. I'm like, hey, they ain't my name. What you calling me? You know, I ain't know if they're calling me out my name or what. I'm like, what you keep calling me that for? You know, and I'm just like trying to figure out all these things. And then when I finally looked up, seeing what Hayoka was, and it was like all the characteristics, I said, I'll be dead. Slap my, slap me on my butt and call me Sally. I did not know. <laughs> I did not know all these characteristics. I said, this is the reason why I'd be taking, doing things the hard way when I don't have to. When it's, I'm seeing other people letting stuff go and I, I'm the way I say stuff. You know, people will always be shocked at the things that I say. Like, Rosalyn, did you really say that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. You know, so it's, you know, when you can look back at your life and you know when you're starting to head towards success or leveling up to that next chapter that you're about to start you'll look back at your life and just think about what you were doing when you first went through that first spiritual awakening and you're like wow i really went through a lot you know and i'm blessed to go through a lot because it's just there's times i've told y'all i've cried i've cried to the point i couldn't breathe you know asking god why did i have to go through all this um why did you know this, this have to hurt so bad and it's like you, you 
can't be able to relate to somebody if you haven't been through it. You know, I, I you know, I, I love to hear people's advice, but if if you have not been through that yourself, you can't give no advice for somebody you ain't been through. So it's just a blessing for the painful experience I have had. You know, I, I used to worry about, you know, when I first started telling people who I was related to, what I went through. I was scared to do that. I'm not even going to lie. Because I didn't think, you know, I was like, nobody's going to believe me. Um, they're going to make fun of me. They're going to poke fun at me. This, you know, I used to have all that doubt in my head. And I'm saying, you know, now, you know, if I open up and tell you something, I, I'm telling you. You know, you don't have to believe me. You don't. You can you know, it's, you know, I, I appreciate everybody from the negative to the positive because it has gotten me where I am now, you know, and I'm going a lot further. You know, people try to halt me. They try to pause me. You know, that's fine. They, you know, they do what they want to do, but it's just at the long run when, you know, I always try to give people blessings. I always try to, you know, uh, give people the benefit of the doubt you know I've connected with a lot of people that has showed me their ugly side as well as their beautiful side you know I'm grateful for all the people even the ones that I don't cut off I'm grateful for them too because it's just like you know my there are some people that connect with me and say you know Rosalind I hate it when somebody did this to me and this and I mean yeah that might you know rough your feathers up that's anybody you'll be pissed because the fact is you know I don't went the long way I don't sit up here and did things for them and this is what they did never wish you never did nothing for those folks never you know no matter what they've done to you you still keep you know bless them and you would be amazed how the universe works in your favor for that you never sit up here and do that because that tells a lot about the person you are and more about them and their being ungrateful and the person they are you know i don't wish nothing on anybody y'all yeah, don't wait, wish nothing on anybody because it's like when i tend to meet people if they're for me Oh, God will send me, you know, all type of vibes to let me know, hey, this is a person you need to keep in your corner. Now, if you ain't one, I'll give you about a good month. <laughs> I'll give you a good month. We can get along all good and all of a sudden red flags start popping up left and right, left and right, left and right. And it's just like certain ones, I'm just like, oh, I ain't going to be friends with you too long. I already see that now. You know, but I'm grateful for those situations because it lets me know how to handle things how to deal with things cut people off with no kind of explanation there's times you know like like i told y'all lately i've been deleting and blocking folks out my life and it's just like when you're on towards something you know things will start changing up god will start snatching folks out your life real quick and if they block you bless that you know because when you want things coming in your life you ask god to remove and add <laughs> or show you to you know show you how people actually are so when you're heading towards stuff, you, they don't they don't destroy your plans. So you keep doing you. You know, when you're heading towards success, you will constantly be tested. And that's all right. You know, teacher always quiet during the test. I tell people that. And you will be doubted on your success. That's all right. Let them have that doubt. And when you're showing your glow up, God tends to bless people. The ones that try to break you, God tends to bless you right in front of them for them to see you being blessed so you you keep you keep sending good blessings towards their way and you watch how universe works in your favor so i hope that you are able to re uh resonate with this video drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to hear from y'all would love to hear your feedback on this video um keep doing what you need to do i send love and blessings towards everybody even when the ones that wish me not so well i still send you love too and um better things are coming your way uh giving my post notification shout out to david delp marche hampton and gabriel much love to you as well okay y'all send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know when somebody needs the kind word it goes a long way know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days much love to y'all have a blessed week and peace i'm out